Hey guys, <clears throat> whoo, excuse me. That one last frog has to just sit right there. <laughs> so I apologize if I'm a little froggy tonight. It's just leftovers. But uh, did you guys bring one of these or an equivalent and a nine millimeter crochet hook? Because we are going to make a cardigan tonight, or at least we're going to start on one. So I'm, I'm super excited. Okay. You guys, let's, uh, let's say hi to everybody real quick. Oh my gosh. So many. Hi, Norma. Hi, Emily. Hi, Jan. May not stop for long. That is okay. I mean, there's always the replay, Jan. Always the replay. Hi, Joy. Hi, Fern from the UK. Okay, welcome, welcome. Hi, Kristen. Hi, woo, lots of good discussion before. Hi, Deneen. Hi, Jeannie. Boop, 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 boop. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Ed. Hello, hello. Hi, Deanie. Oh, I might be saying somebody's names a couple of times. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just double greeting you. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe a couple of that frog's friends are there too. <coughs> Hi, Miss Jamie. <laughs> Hi, Marlene. Doo -doo. Hello, Amy. Hello. I know. <coughs> I'm super excited to do this. Hi, Jess. Hi, Knits Up. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Christina. Hi, Ibi Serenity and Tracy and Jesse Gypsy and Lisa Marie Yarn Fanatic and Jane. And I think I've gotten everybody. You guys, if I haven't gotten everybody, just say, hey, I'm here too. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Question, can you use a four or five weight? And if so, what hook size do you recommend? Joy, if you, I would use, if you have four weight, use two strands of four weight um, and use the same nine millimeter hook. Uh, if you use a five, maybe use a five and a four or, um, but yeah, I would still use a nine millimeter hook and, and just put a couple of strands together. Now, if you do one, if you just wanna make the one strand, uh, I would use an eye or I'd e either use a 5.5 or a six millimeter. Hi, Sonia. Hi, TJ Falk. Hi, Colleen. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Sheila. Oh, happy birthday to Christina. Happy, happy birthday, Christina. Oh, look, and we've got like a party color. So listen, you guys, I'm we're going to do this a little differently. And I feel so bad because I don't ever write patterns. <laughs> but magically, I have actually made a couple of tutorials. And tonight, Jan, can you say hi to me again? Because YouTube insisted on playing Christmas ads. Oh, my gosh. Hi, Jan. Oh, Christmas ads. <laughs> okay, so, oh yeah, I know, isn't it great? I love this so much. I'm good now that my work MB day is over. That was, I'm glad your work day's over too, Ed, and you can just hang out with us. We're, uh, <laughs> we're nice people and sometimes work I mean, even though it's filled with nice people sometimes, sometimes it's not. So I'm just going to get on and get started. But what we're going to do, and this is exciting, I'm trying something new for the first time, is I am going to play on the screen part of the tutorial, and then I'll stop it, and then we'll crochet you can ask some questions. How does that sound? I'm going to start that right now. Not sure where the MB. It's uh, 
is it major league baseball or is it just major baseball i'm looking at the <laughs> okay so here we go i am going to go to where it has present and it has extra camera video file slides share screen and I'm going to share the screen. We are going to go to Microsoft Edge tab. We're going to put in the here an anniversary cake tutorial. And whoops. Why is it not sharing? Hold on just a sec. Oh, it's because I have to be in StreamYard. Oh, screen. Did I say StreamYard? Major League Baseball. <laughs> How much yardage do we need? Fern, this is, uh, I'm just going off by what's on here, and it's 1,061 yards. Now, it may, I'm, I wear a large, and I measure, my measurements are, like 40 whatever whatever 40 one i'm like 40 or 41 around and then 37 so whatever whatever covers that size of body this is let me show you what it looks like i've got i made two of them now this one, this one is a little shorter and it, it like rides up over my bum and I'm going to push my chair back just so I can show you guys. Okay. I'm going to put this on and this is the short one and it's that short. And I did, what I did when I made this one was I also made a cowl and that's all with the one cake. Fern, I don't know if you can order those from Michael's. Well, does Michael's deliver to the UK? But you can use the same equivalent amount of yarn in a six weight. So uh, just however many, the same yardage is for a six weight. So this is the short, the short sweater. And then here is the long sweater. And I'm 5'3 also. So, and this is how long. And this is using the whole the whole cake. And it's got a lapel. I probably could have put a little bit more on the lapel. Oops. This is what it looks like. And granted, on this one, I did not color control. This I just used the cake as is. So it is not color controlled. But, you know, and that's why it looks kind of wonky. Because I was just trying to make a cardigan out of the one cake. So, my size, I'm like 41 around, 5'3 tall. And it makes a long cardigan for, for those measurements. Now, if you're a little, you know, a little bit taller... And I have very, very broad shoulders for for five three. Yeah, I like it when it's longer due because it covers the rear end. Kristen, there is not a written pattern for this yet, and uh, that's one of my 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 skill deficits is writing is writing patterns but i'm trying to do a close job here by running the tutorial and okay let me see if this is if this is gonna work Ooh, looky there oh my goodness okay now i want to not have that whole entire screen so let me see let me try something else um, StreamYard, I want to stop sharing that tab. 
<coughs> Let's see, stop screen. Present, share screen. Share screen. And I want to show Microsoft, Microsoft window edge tab or just the window or just the tab, just the tab. Okay, let's see if this is uh, what the window looks like. No. Okay, we're not gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, hi, Granny D. Well, we're just gonna see if we can hear what this one says. I don't know why it's showing that whole thing. Let me see what happens. Tell me if you can hear. I don't want that whole side to show that. Oh. Well, shucks. Welcome to my yarn room. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek. And today, I am going to attempt to show you how to make a super easy cardigan out of one cake of yarn. Now, granted, the one cake of yarn is humongous. It Why is it not playing? It is, and I'm sure you've seen it around everywhere. It is the huge Karen anniversary cake. It is ginormous. Now I've made a sweater already, a cardigan out of this, and you might've seen it if you've watched any of my other videos. In fact, I'll put a link below to the video where I showed it. And not only did I make a cardigan, but I also added on a cowl all with one shake of yarn. Now this cake is a six weight, feels more like a five weight, I would say, but it's labeled a six weight. And there are, let's see, how many yards are there? 1,061 yards. It weighs 35.3 ounces. This is a heavy yarn cake. The best thing about this cake is it has no calories. <laughs> okay, so I am such a dork. Um, let me show you the card that I made before. Now this is the cardigan, and um, da, 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 da. like I said, we will put a picture or post the link of what it looks like, but. This is basically it. It's a short cardigan. And I'll even post a picture. Maybe I've gotten my editing skills up enough that I can put a picture right there or a picture right there. We'll see. <laughs> if I haven't figured out how to do that, that's just gonna look goofy. But um, this, this, cardigan is not color controlled, which means I just started with one end of the cake and just went with it. So that's why the stripes are, there's really no um, like set out plan to the stripes. They just happen when they happen. And that's why we've got these little, uh, where it changes color. That's not me changing the color. That's, that's just where the color changes in the cake. But that's the way I'm gonna show you how to make this one, just because I wanna show you an easy, a super easy sweater to make. And um, this is the arm. Now you can see the arms are a little, they're not even either. Now later on, probably in a couple of weeks, 
I'm going to uh, make another one of these sweaters, do another tutorial, but I'm going to make it with the color pooling. But I figured, uh, you know, might as well try the easy one first since this is my first tutorial and then graduate up. Now, uh, uh oh, oh, yikes, makeup malfunction. <laughs> okay. So um, let me see, let me show you the cowl. This is a huge cowl. So the sweater and the cowl were included in that whole cake of yarn. Now the measurements for this cowl. I usually make large sweaters. I like big. I like my sweaters to be baggy, and so this is a large which means it's 40, 40 around, 40 inches around. And uh, which means it's 20, crosses, 20 inches across the back, which would be 20 inches on the front. But in this case, since it's a cardigan, what I have done is make eight inches on this side, eight inches on this side, and four inches in the middle, or just whatever adds up to 20. Sometimes I like to make a smaller opening for the neck, which would make it say nine inches, nine inches and two for the middle uh, so that it all adds up to 20. Uh, but whatever, whatever we decide to do, and that's why this is highly customizable. Um, you can make it, you know, if you decide that, hey, you know, I want it to be smaller or I want it to be larger, all you need to do is take up those stitches so that the front and the back equal half of whatever you are around. So say that you decide you need to make a 36, then that would be 18 inches for the back. 18 for the front, which you would divide into two front pieces and a strip for the middle, which they might be eight, eight, and two, if that makes any sense. And it'll make more sense as, as we work on it because I'll show you each individual piece as we work on it. Now this one I made to be shorter. This one sits right above my hip and I'm 5'3". Um, I'm going to make this one today a little bit longer, uh, probably a good four inches longer, just so that it goes maybe like right below, right below the booty, uh, just because in the winter time, or not the winter time, but the fall, fall and winter, I personally like to have sweaters that hang down low. Uh, they just are warmer. They keep the warmth in better, I think. So, um, why don't we get started and I can kind of explain as we go along. Oh, and another reason, um, I think that we'll have enough for this is because this cow was huge and I think that's more than enough left over to give the extra yarn for that, uh, extra couplet, extra four or five inches, probably four inches that I'm going to put on the bottom. I don't want I don't want to make it so long that it's a duster. Okay. So now what I've done is I have chained up 114 stitches to start out. And 114 stitches is how long the chain needs to be to go from uh, all the way in the front around and all the way down the back. So why don't we get started? I think it's just so much easier to show you. Oh, I was looking for my hook. And the stitch that I'm going to use or that we're going to use is a herringbone stitch. And it is, I would say it's a variation of the double crochet. Um, okay. I'm going to pause it for just a minute there or for a while. And I figure we can kind of work on it now. 
I've chained a hundred so far. And I saw that Joyce asked if we're going to uh, help you make it a large. And I can definitely, definitely do that. Um, we just need to know like what your, what your measurements around are. And, ooh, a herringbone stitch. Yeah. <coughs> it's a double crochet herringbone stitch. And so, let's see. I've chained 100. Oh, good night, Alice. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I am going to... Now, it will also depend on how tall you are. Um, so, if you're taller than 5'3", and you're, if, if you have any specific questions, ask me and I'll help you, uh, you know, get that figured out. I don't, I don't uh, like do the, I don't know what it's called where you make the different sizes. Oh, great, Deiru, you made it last year from tutorials and it turned out great, awesome. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish crocheting this. Let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, thank you, Fern. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yes, Lori, grading, grading. Did I say a hundred and fourteen? Was that how many stitches I made it long? Hundred and fourteen stitches. I don't know if I said 114. <laughs> I should rewind it and watch it. So how many strands of four weight scraps do I need to hold together to make the same thickness as the anniversary? Because I'm thinking scraptastic sweater. How is the construction? Is it up and over? Yeah, it's up and over like this. So we'll be starting like this. Like we're going to be working this way. So what we'll do is we're going to work across to here and then we're going to stop and then crochet what it is along the back. And then when we get to here, we're going to um, chain the same length as this and finish making this, if that makes sense. Ooh, Crochet Me Pink has made three sweaters using the same idea. Oh, now... I think for a six weight yarn, it would it be two or four strands? Miss Yukon Cornelius, when I measure, do I just lay the chain down loosely or stretch it a little? Yeah, I'd, I'd stretch it a little. It just, it depends also on how, uh, like how loose or how tight your gauge is. I always prefer to air on the side of caution. So I I think when I did mine, I let it hang. I just let it hang. If we have wider shoulders than bust or waist, should we go with a across the back measurement? I would go from your widest part here and around. I would go with the widest measurement you have. Like, I mean, like sometimes I think my widest measurement is like starting here and going around, but it's not, it, I would go by the widest measurement that you are around on top. I think three fours are a six. Six is two fives or four fours. And with, ah, uh, thanks Lisa. Now, but with this one, with the, um, with a Karen anniversary cake, I might go with three fours because this is this is like a very thin six weight. I would rather call this a five weight. Lisa says it's two strands per each weight. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So... Does anybody have a, a measurement around that, that you want to ask about? Because uh, boy, I forgot what 
I forgot what I said. On, what I, you know, what I need to do tomorrow is just sit here and and write this whole thing out. That would probably be the smart thing to do. My widest measurement is at my hips. Okay, for this, you don't, for this, Miss Yukon, you don't need to measure your hips. It's just, it just depends on if you want to, uh, you know, when your cardigan hangs down, you want it to fit like your arms and your chest area better. And you can write it, you can either make it above your hips or you can make it hang down below your hips. Um, but if you make it to be like as wide as around your hips, it's going to be real baggy up here. <laughs> brain fog. Yeah. I'm, I'm totally all about the brain fog all the time. Jess, got it. I'm 44 around the shoulders, only 39 at the bust. So I'm going to go with the wider since I usually have underarm creep if I go with bust size. Okay. Now, I'm not talking about like around, whoops, oh shoot. I'm not talking about, you don't want to do around here, but you don't want to go the outside of your, of your arms, but like this. Yeah, whichever, yeah, whichever's bigger, like either here, you, you know what I mean, right around the biggest part of your boobs. Or like underarm. <laughs> Can you write it out too? Thank you. <laughs> I will do my best. It won't be in a standard written pattern form, Lisa. And there is written transcripts in the description box. There are? <laughs> okay, I'll have to go check that out. <laughs> Jess, I've been growing steadily. <laughs> I, you know what? I pray to God this one fits me when I make it. So anyway, I've got my, I think it was 114. I'm going to make it just a little longer. Lisa, oh, for all videos. Okay, I'm going to have to go check that out. <laughs> Not, oh, they they aren't on, but Susan, I have a video and, um, I will link it after, after this, I have a tutorial that I've actually done. That's what we're watching right here, um, is the tutorial that I made for it. And it's a regular video. Have to go get a nine millimeter hook. <laughs> You know, if you have something close, like an 8 or a 10, it can be a little smaller or a little bigger. If your hips are wider, you can leave slits at the bottom sides to give some space for the hips to flex. Lori, that's a great, you know, I've never even thought of that because my top is way bigger than my bottom. And I'm not talking boobs. I'm talking this. I'm built like, like an upside down triangle. Jan, what gauge are you working with? Six weight, is that super chunky, bulky? Just tutorial is fine for me. Total brain fogs for written pattern lately. Okay, so this six is, six is, um, I forget what the different things are called. It's super bulky, right? Six is, but this, this feels more like a five. The anniversary cake feels more like a five to me. Lisa, I don't know if there is something you have to check in settings, but I've used them for a few years now. Oh, okay. I'm going to go check that out after the, after the video. Jess, I'm learning in my sweater class two times if I go with shoulders and upper arm measurements and medium if I go with all other measurements. That's what long arm quilting gets me. I'm a little lost on that. 
this is a five. Oh, Dunning. Oh, the anniversary cake. It fe- I know it feels like a five. It feels either like a. It feels more like a big five to me. I'm a strawberry, Lori. I love that. You know, usually I hear it called apple sometimes, but strawberry is much better. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm not too much. I'm, yeah, I don't think I'm quite apple. I'll go with strawberry. That's good. Me and my mom are strawberries. Lisa, six is super bulky or super chunky. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> well, you're welcome, Miss Yukon. And th- yeah, thank you for that, Lisa. Hi, Maritza. LOL, Ginger not talking boobs, really, with this chat. <laughs> Well, you know, okay, boobs, 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 boobs. <laughs> Emily, I think so too, Ginger. And the one I used for a blanket had some thin and thicker spots too. Yeah, Jess, sorry, but like a teenage boy. Why did the shoulders with big muscles? From- oh, okay. Yeah, I am, Jess, I know exactly what you mean. I have the big muscles too. I mean... I flex for you, but you know, I don't want to show off. <laughs> Miss Yukon, I think I'm a pumpkin. Well, pumpkins are cute. <laughs> J- Jamie, Denise, can you make me a ginger cardigan, please? I'm trapped in winter wonderland. <laughs> oh, no. Jamie, I just need to send you one of these, although they might be a little big. <laughs> Alice, okay, now I'm gone to bed. Love y'all. <laughs> Love you too, Alice. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. Sure, Jamie, after craft sale season, no problem. Awesome. Fern says, good night, crafty chats. Okay, now, since the, um, since the tutorial is glitching, kind of, I, and you know, it's weird when I'm watching it over on this side, On it, it is not glitching. But when I watch it up on here, it is. So I know what you guys are talking about. Um, Jess, LOL, not really big muscles, but apparently bigger than the rest of me. Yeah, that's, I'm I'm just built top heavy. Oh my gosh. Now my cat's playing with my yarn. Lori, apple is shoulder and hips are similar measurements and waist measurements is bigger than, okay. My waist isn't bigger than my hips and shoulders. It's a couple inches smaller. (laughs) It's like 37 and these are both at 40. I'm almost a solid block. Lisa, how many strands you hold for this also depends on if your four weight is thin side or yeah. Yeah, that's why I always have such a hard time being exact because I think of all the different sizes of yarn and like, well, two four, two four weights held together of one kind might be totally different than two four weights held together of a different kind. Lisa, like with bobbins, I would hold four strands, but with a super saver, just two. It, right, right, or just, or just three. Jan, apple is big tummy, pear is big bum. Oh, and that's, I'm a strawberry oh, with no boobs. <laughs> I'm a flat strawberry. I'm one of those strawberries that's been laying down on the ground like this, and the whole front side is flat. <laughs> Can I measure a nice fitting t-shirt? Um, that you can, but only if you want the cardigan to fit snug like a t-shirt. If your t-shirt's a little loose, if, if your t-shirt is the fit that you want your cardigan to be, then yeah, for sure. Lisa, I'm beach ball on stilts. (laughs) Well, I think beach balls on stilts are beautiful, Lisa. Denine, my 24 bobbins were delivered today. My husband is on night, so he was sleeping when they were delivered. Genie, is this something someone could make for a first wearable project? Genia, I think so. It, 
and listen, this is why if you, if, if the, uh, if the herringbone is something that is a little hard to do, because I mean, I would have gone crazy doing a herringbone stitch for a first one. I would just do a double crochet. You could definitely, definitely do like just a double crochet if you want to. But if it's easy, if the herringbone stitch turns out to be easy peasy, then definitely you can make this for a first. But yeah, the whole structure of it and everything, I would say is definitely easy for a beginner. Just strawberry. That's me with a little bit of saggy pear at the bottom. <laughs> I'm thinking of all the different types of strawberries I've seen growing in my garden now. <laughs> Aw, shucks, says Lisa. Hi, Julie Whippy Chick. Hey, hey, baby cakes. How are you doing? <laughs> Lori, I'm just too big. Like, I'm the whole fruit bowl. <laughs> you know what we can say, guys? We can just say that we're all a little bit fruity. Lori, what if your bum tummy are big and top heavy? <laughs> what if your bum tummy are big and top heavy, but you have a little waist? Ooh, then you'd be like hourglass. Emily, awesome, Deneen. <laughs> Saved by the snore. Hi, Wynette. Howdy, howdy. Genie, okie dokie. Jess, good for you. I got my two yarn packages delivered while hubby was getting milk at the store. <laughs> Hi, anxious pajama days. Hello, hello. <laughs> yarn fairy. Hi, I was asleep when my squishy mail arrived today. It was part of a delayed ship order. I'd forgotten about it. And Ed brought it in when he came home. Oh my gosh, he was excited. What did you get? Hi, Mel Jones. Hi, Patricia. Yes, Patricia, this is the tutorial I did a while back. And I'm, I've been playing part of it, but I've been having some trouble with it. Um, it it's a little glitchy on, on when I'm playing it over here. So I'll do the best that I can to play parts of it and then explain it to you while we're doing this. Do. Hi, Lacey. Ah, thank you. It's a very warm Cardi. I'm making a very, a very colorful Cardi this time. I'm making it with my, uh, with my polka dot anniversary cake. Hi, Laura. I have just started my first crochet cardigan. I've knitted a few. I'm using the V stitch. Ooh, Laura, you'll have to post a picture somewhere. Like if you're on Facebook or Instagram. <coughs> Fun surprise. Oh, wait, hold on just a sec. Okay, now I'm not sure what the fun surprise. Oh, 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 the yarn, because I just saw the fairy. <laughs> Julie's great with the emojis. There's the yarn and the fairy. Lisa, I got my mandalas and basic stitch today. I'm still waiting for 12 more bobbins. Um, Facebook user, I can't do anything about that right now because I'm like right in the middle of a chat. But um, message me on Facebook and uh, who you are, and I can get that done. Lori, hourglass is considered ideal. Top and bottle, top and bottom, same close size, and middle is eight to ten inches smaller. I've never been eight to ten inches smaller on my middle. Never ever. <laughs> Julie, Ginge, what would you recommend as a substitute for the anniversary cake and how much yardage? Well, the anniversary cake is 1,061 yards of a, what it says is six weight. It's closer to a big five. So I would get, 
I mean, you, you could use a six weight, but I would use a small six weight or a large five weight, or you can use um, strands held together. And it's hard to say exactly how many strands because they all vary so much in size. Uh, but like technically it should be four strands of four weight to make a six weight. And what is it? Three to make a five weight. And then, you know, if you're making it to equal this same weight of yarn, you would use a, you would still use the 1,061 yards. Hi, Kiwi. Oh, I thought they were a worsted weight. Oh, these. No, they're big. <laughs> Wouldn't you could hold two or three strands held together of four weight yarn. Yeah, I would say, I'd say, and let if they're a big four weight, maybe two, but I would, I would go with a three unless they're like huge four weight. Finally found the tutorial videos and saved it. Yay! And I do know that people have actually made. <laughs> this cardigan from the tutorial so it does work <laughs> put some together and see if it looks like it yeah a lot of times you just have to try it out with the yarns that you're using to see if they you know to see what works yarn fairy whippy chick yes it was the first thing he said when he woke me up was you got yarn today me i did him. Yeah, Hirschner's. <laughs> Lori, I feel like the anniversary cake is similar to Charisma yarn and thickness. I absolutely agree. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm trying to... I wish I had some Charisma yarn around here somewhere that I could I could hold it up against, but I, I feel like that too, Lori. Hi, Yarn Fairy. Yes, Julie, sweet kiwi is here. And we are just all a big bowl of fruit tonight. That's what we are. Lisa, I do two thin fours or three thicker fours to get the thin six. Two, probably two thick fours or three thinner fours. Was that right? <laughs> Anxious pajama days. I'm sorting my yarn stash and whips again. Yay! Well, you know what, guys? What I figure I'm going to do is it might take a few weeks. It might take us near the whole month of November to get this cardigan done. Does that sound good for you guys? Because I figure whatever it takes to get this thing done during the time, I might actually write some of it down <laughs> and post it. And I will definitely put the link to the tutorial underneath each live. I, <laughs> he's a zombie. <laughs> well, we knew what you were talking about, Lisa. We did. Jess, anniversary cake is also, yes, it is, to premiere Serenity Bulky Lion Brand Human Meat, <laughs> Hugh and me and lion brand hometown yeah and it's also similar to um um the hop what's the one at hobby lobby it's the i love this chunky oh but i think that's a five weight anyway which should tell you that this is more like a five weight kiwi not sure how long i'll be on i'm just trying to get tomorrow's whip video uploaded Awesome. Yeah, sometimes that can take a long time. Jean, that would be great. All for it. Awesome. <laughs> okay, this is just going to be, we'll, we'll call this, we'll call this sweater weather. <laughs> this cardigan is all for the sweater weather. Just some of those are shinier than others, but an actual yarn size. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. Denine, my son is on a health kick. He is making supper again. Oh, <gasps> Same sucker, same supper, chicken breast and Caesar salad. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. 
Jess, it's also similar to Ice Yarn's Mystique. I've done stuff with both in the same project. Okay, now I've never used Ice Yarn's Mystique, but now I want to get some. Lori, maybe you can download the transcript from the video and try editing it. That is a great, great idea. You guys are coming up with all the good ideas. Thank you, Lori. Julie, can't wait to see it, Elaine. And I'm, Elaine is Kiwi, right? Squirrel and Pearl. Hi. I have four crochet projects on the hook, including a fusion quilt for my granddaughter that is due in April. Ooh, now what's a fusion quilt? How much are the anniversary cakes? Okay, so Fern, the anniversary cakes, if you buy them full price, which I tell everybody, never buy the yarn full price. You can always get it on sale or with a coupon. Or it depends on whether you live in Canada and the US, they're in the US, they're $39 for the anniversary cake. But Oh, Adrian, Adrian is Kiwi. I'm, I'm sorry. I messed names up. Um, but like this, this week they are on sale for 30% off <coughs> at Michael's. And then if there are any left over, by the time they get to the clearance sales, they usually go for a lot less than that. Yeah, never ever buy full price yarn. Yeah, on sale right now, they are $27.99. Oh, your, your name is Adrian. Okay, I'm sorry, Kiwi. <laughs> your bird's name is Kiwi. Um, I'm like all wee. There's another kiwi, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's another. <laughs> Denine, cheaper here with exchange there, 45. Oh, geez. Unless you make it up in free shipping. Well, well that's true, too. Whatever, whatever sale. A fusion quilt is quilt squares that are crocheted together. Oh, now is your name Talise? And I, I haven't seen you before. So welcome, welcome. Anxious pajama days. My bunny just tried to steal my yarn. Oh, do you have a team house bunny? Just Lion Brand has most of their clearance at 50% off. Oh, I, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, we're just nuts, Kiwi. <laughs> Denine works out to 33 US dollars regular price. Oh, wow. You, so your 44 equals 33 of ours. Hi, Jenny. Just the mandala watercolors, five weight and select colors, part of the sale. Ooh. Well, wonderful, Talise. It's nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm going to start crocheting down the side of this. I'm going to start crocheting down the side. Kiwi crocheter is Elaine. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, now I didn't know that. I didn't know that, Deneen. Okay, does everybody know how to do the double crochet herring, the double herringbone crochet? Yeah, he's a chocolate Netherland dwarf. Tiny bunny, big personality. He lives indoors. Aww. Jenny, on talk of top, on talk of kiwis, do kiwis eat kiwis? <laughs> That's a good question, Jenny. Kristen, I have a bunny in my house. He is in a cage so he doesn't steal my yarn. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> For not me. Now, I'm not sure what the not me is. Is that the not eating the kiwis? <laughs> oh, 
okay, I'm going to, let's see. I'm going to switch over here for a minute. Okay. Oh, not me for the. So, you know what I might need to do? Aw, thank you, Talise. Thank you. Don't know herringbone stitch. Okay. What I might have to do, and this was, I made this tutorial before I ever got my tutorial arm. So, um, what I'm probably going to have to do is make a tutorial on that stitch. I don't know if you can see right here how to do it, but basically you just wrap it around and into the third stitch from the hook. You insert your hook, wrap around, bring it through. both of those, bring it through one and bring it through. Oh boy. I'm going to have to make a, <laughs> I'm going to have to make it too. I'm going to have to make a, sh a tutorial short for this. So let's try that once again. So you wrap it around, put it through the loop, wrap it around, pull it through the chain and pull it through that first loop. And then you wrap it around, pull it through one loop, wrap it around, pull it through two loops. So it's like you, Laura, there's, there's not a written pattern yet, but I'm going to be working on it. This is going to be sweater weather November. <laughs> And we're all going to make this sweater. Please do the. Oh, now I have. Oh, okay. Okay. I will definitely do. Um, maybe, maybe even what I can do is right after we finish here, I'll just quickly do a short where I do the tutorial for the stitch and I'll just post it right after we're finished. We're working side to side, Wynette, and the whole body part of the cardigan is one piece. So it's like this. It's like this is one shoulder and we're crocheting this way across. And then, whoops, we end up end halfway. We, we crochet a little bit there and then we come down this way. So it looks like a big ch ch and then you fold it in half and sew the sides and then crochet the arms on. So the only thing that you have to sew is the sides. So similar to treble crochet, but instead of going through two, you only go through one. Yeah, so really when now when the pieces are, yeah, the one piece right here and then you crochet the arms right on. So the only, only thing you have to sew is, is the sides. Yeah, and Jenny, but it differs from treble crochet in that you don't wrap the yarn around twice at the beginning. The side, is that what it's called really for real, Jan? Oh, John Boy Crochet has a hat use, demo used. Now, is it the double herringbone crochet? Because... Will it have buttons? Um, I didn't make mine with buttons, but you can definitely put buttons on it. Definitely. I like how it's one piece. I'm not a fan. I am not either, Fern. I just like to crochet. <coughs> Lori, instead of using six weight, can it be done in lighter weight for those of us that aren't even looking sweater wetter until January or February? Oh, for sure. And it's the same. I mean, you wouldn't use the same numbers of stitches, but... I mean, not everybody would anyway, but it's, it's the same concept. So really you can use any size of hook and yarn and, and it's the same concept. You don't have to use the same one I'm using and it doesn't have to be the anniversary cake, but if you are using the anniversary cake, that's what I'm using. 
because there are there are different types of hearing bone like there's the half double crochet hearing bone the seam like there's different types of hearing bone stitches a big ch -ch -ch oh <laughs> julie i love you too <laughs> Wiggle butt. Are you wrapping in the front to back instead of back to front? Now, I'm not. Oh, you were just kidding about the side saddle. Well, I'm going to call it side saddle until somebody tells me differently. We are making a side saddle cardigan. Okay. So this is, let me show you. When I wrap it around, I go over. And then I put it right into the chain then wrap it around again like i've been told that i wrap my yarn weird like i don't follow any consistency whether it's over or under this is just the way i do it and for no reason other than that's how i do it so then you pull it through the chain and you pull it through that first loop wrap it around pull it through the first loop wrap it around pull it through two and then it starts to look all right kiwi go get your baby ready for bed yep his demo is a herringbone like you are explaining you knit yes lisa i do knit <laughs> jamie i want a big cozy cardigan with a hoodie and inside pockets so live in with the six months of oh jamie you got to make this cardigan we'll make it together use your use your anniversary cake we'll make it with a hoodie yeah if if you guys want to make hoodies on it we can make hoodies on it i'm gonna have to go get another anniversary cake if we're gonna be adding a hoodie but that's okay see i agree I remember it now. I just have to see it or, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I know, I'm the same way. I'm that way with a crab stitch every single time. D Donine, does Saskatchewan Michaels carry the dotted anniversary cake? That is good to know. That would be good to know, Jamie. Jess, Ginger, check out the Lesvirka sweater on Ravelry when you have a chance. Ooh, is it crochet or knit? And here, I'm gonna screenshot that. Let's see, is it, I don't know that one. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. I need to then, yeah. <laughs> if we make it hooded, we don't, you don't have to make it hooded. What my goal is for this month long tutorial is for everybody to have a cardigan that they are happy with. Wiggle butt crochet. Okay, that messes with my perfection. I always wrap them back to front. You don't have to do it. You do it. Wiggle butt, you do it however you want to. Joyce, after you do the first stitch, do you skip any stitches? Nope, nope, nope. You don't, you don't skip any stitches. You just go right into the next chain. So see, I've already made three stitches right there. And... Here, I'll make another one. Wrap around. Go through the chain. And then you wrap around and pull through those next two loops on your hook. The chain and that first loop. Wrap around. Pull through that loop. Wrap around. Pull through the last two loops. So I always thought if this herringbone stitch like this. Go through two loops. Go through one loop. Go through two loops. That makes it easy for me to remember. Jamie, you have the patience of a saint. See, this is why I could, couldn't could ever have a channel new to our tutorials. Uh, Jamie, the thing is, is I've just had a lot of kids. <laughs> Lori, Ginger, that yarn makes me want to call your sweater. Oh, the confetti cardigan. That's what it's going to be. Lori, you come up with the best stuff. Hi, Jelly L. Jelly L, if you're just getting in here, we're making a cardigan and it's going to be a month long journey for all of us. And <laughs> I am, I want you guys to ask 
any questions or if you're watching the the regular tutorial that i made like two years ago if you're watching that one this is really cool what youtube has done now you ask me any questions in this video or that tutorial and evelyn i have seven kids <laughs> well i've given birth to five but but i got I got two kids when I married my husband. So we have a huge, we, I've had them since they were little, little, little too. So it's uh, a lot of kids. <laughs> so um, anyway, any questions that you ask me in the comments, I can like make a short on it and it'll pop up in the shorts. When I'm replying to your question, it gives me the option of, of making a short. So it'll be a reply directly to your question in the comments. Should I have to head out? Jess, have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful night. Lori, that's what my boss says. He asked me to sit in on meetings all the time when people ask him for help coming up with ideas. Your boss is smart, Lori. <laughs> no confetti cakes at your Michaels. Okay, you know what? It's it's seven o'clock, so I'm sad to say I have to go now too. But immediately when we stop here, I am going to make the short for this. And Jamie, Kim, oh, oh yeah, me and Kim are on. We are on at 8 o'clock Central Time. So 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, Jamie. <laughs> I know, Julie, right? I love that new feature of YouTube. And you've also done it on um, Instagram, too. I, I've seen you do that. And I think it's awesome. They are on for 23 U.S. right now. Oh, on sale. Okay, you guys. Thank you so much, so much for coming and for sitting through that nail biting first part of the tutorial I'll, I'll see if i can do anything about that yes lisa i will see you in the morning it is only five here your clock is oh oh <laughs> yeah my 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 clock is fast wiggle butt <laughs> you guys all have a wonderful night and we're going to make this together. You guys, we're all going to have an awesome sweater when we're finished. So yeah, thank you for a fabulous evening. Love you guys. Bye.